Well, you guys, got another video here for you on how to password protect a folder in Windows without any software. So we have a folder here with some data in here. And if we want to protect this, we need to put a password on here because otherwise people would be able to see inside the folder. So how can we do that on Windows 10 or Windows 11 or any other version of Windows? That's what we're going to be doing today in today's video. So first off, what we're going to do here is you can see the content inside here. There's a load of videos in here, and I want to protect uh, this content. So what I'm going to do is first, inside the actual uh, folder itself that we want to protect, we're going to right-click, and we're going to create a new text document right inside here. and You can see it there. So what we're going to do this here, we're going to call this folder block like so and we want to make this dot bat uh, so we can't see the file extension here at the moment so let's go ahead and change this so the way we can do that is go to view go to options click on options and change folder and search options and then inside here we can now go to view and then we can also go here where it says hide extensions for known file types here. We're going to remove that tick. And there we go. So that is it here. So you can see the extensions.text.tex. So I'm going to quickly rename this. And we're going to call this .bat, which is short for batch file. And you should see the icon change to two little cogs. So there we have our batch file. Now there's nothing inside here at the moment. We need to put some text in here, which is going to act, act like a batch file. So let's go ahead and get that. So there is a website here on GitHub. I'll leave the link in the video description. And you can see here, this is the bat file here. So I'm going to copy all of this text here, right away down to the end. So right click and copy this. So once you've done this, we can now get our batch file. I'm going to right click and edit this batch file. And we're going to paste in our text. So here we have our text. And you'll notice inside here, there's some uh, content in here which we can change. So it says echo enter password to unlock your secure folder and it will ask for the password. You can see here, if not pass equals equals, and it says your password. So this part here needs to be your password. There needs to be a space on either side of this here. I've just zoomed in here so you can see it a bit more clearer. And this is the area here. So let's just put in a password here. Now you want to use a strong password, but I'm going to use a simple password. We're just going to call this password123, something like that. So once you've got your password set here, we're going to push save because we've already renamed it .bat. And there we go. It's ready to go. So let's go ahead and now double click on this folder lock. And I've double clicked and you should now see this private folder has been added inside the folder that we want to uh, password protect. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy these files in or drag these files into there like so. Now we're not going to put the batch file in there. We're just going to copy, copy these in like so. Here we go. So now we've got the private folder with our content inside and we've got our batch file here. But you can see that we can still access this data. So what we need to do is now double click on the folder lock bat file again. So let's go ahead and click this. And you can see here it says, are you sure you want to lock this folder? I'm going to do Y for yes. And it's gone. So now we have got a folder that's disappeared. And we do have our folder lock dot bat file. Now you may be saying to yourself, all I need to do here to see that hidden file is to go to view options, 
change folder and search options, go into view again and show hidden files, folders and drives. And if you put the radio button in there and a click apply, you'll see that the folder is completely gone. It's not there. It's hidden. So no one can see it. Uh, and that's what we want to try to do in this video is to hide it. And then also it's now password protected. Now, if we go and look at the desktop here, you will see there is the orange folder. This is the folder that we started off with, with our content in. So inside here, you can see it's been hidden, that private section. So how do we access it? Well, what we need to do is double click on the folder lock again. And you can now see, enter your password to unlock the secure folder. So remember, ours was password one two three push enter and your folder will then reappear and you can then access this folder now just remember that you need to remember your password because if you don't remember your password you will not be able to gain access to that data so what we can do now is add some more content to this now we've unlocked it so let's go ahead and add another file so i'm going to drag this into the orange folder and we can now add some more content to this. And then all we need to do to lock it again. So now we can double click on the folder lock again. And we can say why for yes, because we want to lock it again. And it's locked again. And that's it. So when you want to unlock it, you just simply double click on it and put in your password. And it will reappear. Now, the problem with this would be when you lock your folder. So, for instance, if I say yes to lock the folder, it will be hidden. So, if someone was looking inside this orange folder here and they see this folder lock.bat, you would be able to edit this file and then you could just change the password. That is the downfall of this particular method. So, it's not ultra secure. Now, of course, what you could do is remove this file and hide it somewhere and then drag it into that folder when you want to unlock it. That's what I'd advise you to do, because if you leave it inside the folder, it will basically um, be visible to that person. So what you'd need to do is remove this. And just remember, if you remove this from the folder, you will need to put it back into that folder to unlock it again, because if you drag this to your desktop and then you click on it, it's going to make another private folder. So you can't run it from outside of that folder. You will have to always run it from inside here. So you probably want to give this a different name than folder lock, uh, because otherwise someone will easily know what it is. And when you want to unlock it again, you just drag it back into your folder and then you can unlock it by doing this simple anyway that is going to be about it that is how you can uh, password protect any sort of folder inside windows without any sort of software by using a simple batch file so i hope this has been some sort of use to you i'll leave all the links and information in the video description my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Special shout out to all my YouTube members who are joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. And a special shout out goes to MS Musk Oxen, also RTX Brody, Phil's Computer Repair, Ron Hicks, Casso Time, Big Daddy, also Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech. Also, we got uh, Albert Houston, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I really do appreciate it. And have a lovely weekend. And I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.